Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it won't apply for every Libra out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus video, which I will have posted on my channel, hopefully by the time this video goes up, okay? Um, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel or commenting and liking, please do so. I really do appreciate all of the support and love that you guys leave me. I do check it out even when I can't reply all the times, okay? Also, if you're interested in booking me for personal coaching or if you'd like to check out my extended messages where we go more in depth with your cross watcher, all that information is listed below in my description box where you can find everything. And yeah, let's hop straight in. We're going to jump into your intuitive messages first, and then we're going to hop into your love portion, as always, okay? So what's going on with my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras for September 3rd through the 10th, please? September 3rd through the 10th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. Alrighty. All right, let's lay these cards out because you guys are ready to talk. Jeez. All righty, Libras. So I am seeing that you guys are heavy into manifestation mode for this week. I am seeing that you guys are having a lot of ideas and inspiration about what you're going to do moving forward. You're really um, trying to take heed of what to do with your business, how to spice up just spice things up i'm seeing where you're feeling a sense of harmony here some of you guys are really turning up uh to some 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 dope music okay um if you're not i feel like music will really shift your vibration you guys are libras so you guys love art love music love that type of energy so make sure that you're listening to your favorite tunes in the morning you know getting ready to some beyonce ain't nothing wrong with beyonce I'm not 100% a fan of Beyonce, but if you gotta listen to Beyonce in the morning to feel like you, you know, you're part of the Destiny Childs or whatever, okay, do what you have to do. But I am seeing that you're really gonna be striving for harmony this week. I am seeing that you are gonna have friends that are gonna be helping you with your creative project, definitely running through some lines with you or looking over your work would be awesome. And I'm also seeing a new love here. I'm seeing a new person. I'm seeing where uh, this person may really spark your interest here. And you're just, you're feeling like things are just happening so easily for you. Like it's just flowing. That it's just almost like a miracle, okay? You guys are really ready to talk, guys. Let me lay the cards out. Okay, so yeah, I am seeing that you guys are definitely in a place of deserving. Realize that you are deserving of everything that you are receiving. And you also need to make sure that you are listening to only the people that you love. Stop listening to this criticism from outside sources that do not matter focus on you and your loved ones stop worrying about what other people have to say because i feel like you are staying true to yourself and you just don't need to compromise for other people or water down your your ideas i know that you guys love to compromise and give your all but you guys don't need to just listen and trust in your inner voice you know what you're doing Allow yourself to receive the blessings. Open your arms to welcome the blessings, okay? And continue to be in a place of um, acceptance. Gratitude. Gratitude. So let's go ahead and pull an astrology card for you guys. And then we're going to get into your love portion. Yeah, your dreams are very important, guys. Very, very important. What's going on, my son? I'm going to sleep first. And we have Moon Soul. So you guys may be dealing with the Cancer. We have Second House Owning. 
at the bottom of the deck. Um, where's my astrology book? We're going to look at this really quick. I feel like you guys are going to be dealing with situations with um, a mother figure. Some of you guys are... Huh, as soon as I said that, I have the sun card that flew. Some of you guys could be new mothers. Some of you guys are getting in touch with your emotions let me see what this card's talking about mm, so okay Alrighty. so with this card this would be the high priestess in the regular deck so you could be dealing with the pisces but um this would definitely be about dreams oh my god this is so crazy so your dreams are very very important guys you guys are having some crazy ass dreams every card that i'm pulling every card is talking about dreams i literally pull this card out and it's talking about dreams like i don't know what you guys have going on your dreams are freaky leave a comment below and tell me about your dreams because it's obviously something that y'all need to pay attention to but this talks about dreams. Let's talk about this talks about the dark night of the soul energy. This talks about the past, wisdom, shelter. It says this shows how we respond emotionally and what we feel most deeply. Some believe the moon represents who we are in secret and also memories from who we are in the past. The moon is our most inner selves about this matter don't be shy allow yourself to shine this card indicates fluctuations in your life the moon changes signs every two and a half days so 12 different moon combinations mean great variation but the moon is the side we keep concealed in horoscope in horoscope chart the moon has many aspects or is the most elevated planet in the chart and is considered to have a strong influence my moon is in libra so yeah this card says that this is about mystery birth tribes unanswered questions and sometimes sometimes sudden fame okay so literally everything that we talked about literally everything that we talked about in the intuitive messages so let's go ahead and pick out some love cards for you guys and see what's popping with your love life. So I'm going to bring this deepest love life for September 3rd through the 10th. September 3rd through the 10th. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys are doing this. Some of you guys are doing this. Oh my gosh. I'll take them. Alrighty, so the cards that I pulled, I have past life codependency let your friends help you and romantic feelings here okay bottom of the deck i have finances and career so you may be dealing with the past life relationship somebody who you may have known in a previous lifetime or it feels like it i am seeing that there is outside people affecting this relationship whether it's uh advice that they're giving or what but i am seeing that there is romantic feelings but somebody may be codependent uh, whether that's on addictions or what okay i'm also seeing that somebody does need to open up and express how they feel i see that there is a lot of flirty energy um and i am seeing that you guys care about each other but make sure that you guys aren't letting somebody or you're not doing it yourself being codependent on somebody Alrighty. so let's get into the spread what's going on with my sun rising in venus libras for the week of september 3rd through the 10th please September 3rd through the 10th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. Alrighty, so bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups in reverse, guys. So, I am sensing that we have the Ten of Cups, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Two of Wands. So I am sensing that you're unhappy with some sort of relationship here. You're at a crossroads about what you're going to do moving forward. You really want success with a fire sign, or you may be dealing with a fire sign that may want a lot of attention, uh, and there's issues with that. But I'm seeing you guys come in to this week as the King of Swords in Reverse, so extremely detached, guys. Make sure that you guys are being also truthful with others. 
I have the High Priestess here, the Chariot, and the Moon in Reverse. Literally just said that. Um, you guys could be keeping some sort of secrets or you may be dealing with somebody who's not telling the 100% truth here. But you're moving forward due to the fact that there was some sort of secret that was revealed. It could have been with a Cancer, um, a Virgo, whoever, okay? But I do have the Star card in the past. Um, so you have hope for some sort of situation with a fire sign who may have been a player here. Um, and you were just waiting for you guys to move forward. Um, yeah, you may have had a fire sign come back out of seclusion who may have also been a player. Also, there may have been a Virgo too. But um, I am seeing that you did drop the burden in the past. In the future, I do have the Six of Chalices clarified by the wheel in reverse. So you may be dealing with somebody from your past or having memories of a situation that did not go your way here, a relationship with maybe a Cancer. Um, but if it's not with the Cancer, you're moving forward regardless, okay? Um, what I'm also seeing for the focus and reason, I do have the Five of Chalices in reverse clarified by the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So you're coming out of the sadness of a third party situation where there may have been just a lot of people affecting it. Okay, yeah. A choice was made. And what I'm seeing for the outcome, I do have the King of Pentacles here in reverse, clarified by the Five of Swords. So there's this very dependent energy, whether it's on finances, stability, or what. But I'm, yeah, somebody's dependent for finances and maybe using somebody for finances um, in a very, like, backstabby way here, okay? Um, also, there may be an instability with finances in the future, Alrighty, you need to make sure that you're taming yourself and that you're not um you're not putting your guard down for situations that make you unhappy. What's going on with my Libras? Cross watcher for the person that you're dealing with for September 30th through the 10th, please. Libras cross watcher for the person that you're dealing with for September 3rd through What's going on with the cross watcher? Reverse cross watcher partner for something you know. So I am seeing that they're no longer juggling here. They're definitely trying to focus on healing and um, keeping the hope. I'm seeing that they're moving to a calmer way of thinking about situations after they've seen the situation the correct way and looked at it in a different perspective. They realize that they're missing an opportunity with you. They may also feel like you're super detached um, and this foundation isn't built on anything stable. They feel as if you may be keeping some sort of secrets and they're trying to use their intuition with the situation. Um, this person feels as if you may have backstabbed them either with an earth sign or with finances here and they're very unhappy about it and hurt. And they're trying to focus on themselves and come out of poverty if that's an issue. I am seeing that things are not turning their way. They made a ju bad judgment and they may want to start something new. But they may be, you may be avoiding this relationship, not allowing them to come back in, or they may be doing it. However, this resonates, okay? But um, this is what I'm seeing for the cross watcher. If you guys want to see the extended version, that's going to be listed below, like I said, also with my information for coaching. And I will see you guys on the other side. We're going to finish it off there. Bye, my lovely. What sign is this? This is Aquarius. Bye, guys. Or no, this is not Aquarius. This is Libra. Bye, guys. <laughs> you guys may be dealing with Aquarius.